Today I'm out early in the beautiful uh, nature preserve of Järstrenda. It's uh, both flora fauna and parks on the air, uh, but that's not a goal today. Uh, today is the early SSA portable test, which is a Swedish radio amateur contest for uh, Scandinavian countries. And the point is being low power and having fun with that. And it's one of the most fun contests I know because you're supposed to run so low, low power. Uh, Rigged up here, normal equipment, Sega X60-100. I got my Suta Beams band hopper up uh, because uh, my other 80 meter capable antenna is uh, still broken. And I'm hoping that works well. I uh, had some issues with it last time, so we'll see how it goes. It's uh, time to get started here. I got my antenna rigged up and uh, see if there's some activity on 80 meters. I'll be activating there first. And uh, when it comes to the rules of this contest, they're quite the fun and uh, that's why this is one of my favorite contests. It's basically a low power portable contest. There are four classes, uh, one through four, uh, where four is uh, 0 0.9 watts and below or less than one watt. Uh, f three is uh, one to 4.9 watts and then uh, two is uh, five to 19.9 and uh, multiply 1 is uh, everything above 20 watts. So 20 watts is considered QRO here. So if you have uh, like 1000 watts or 100 watts that doesn't make much of a difference. You're also not locked to running only one class. Which means that you can run uh, like one QSO in 0 0.9 watts and the next one in 4.9 watts. And you can then log. And that's the reason I'm actually logging by paper. It's the only place you will see me log anything by paper if I don't have an electronic option. Uh, I'm filling it in electronically later, but it's so much easier on paper. Also, um, yeah, you can usually then start off at 0 0.9 watts, see if the other guy's hearing you, and uh, then go back to uh, class 3 if he doesn't hear you, uh, and see if that works. And I can actually go up to class 2 here, up to 10 watts with this radio. So yeah, it's uh, worth a try at least. The contest is open only for Scandinavian operators, uh, which means uh, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Denmark, Faroe Islands and Iceland. Uh, if you were on Bouvet Island, I'm sure you could get in as well, but that's a bit too far for this. Uh, everybody that calls CQ has to be portable, but you can call in as a stationary station, but then you cannot call any kind of CQ. Operate on uh, CW or SSB or uh, both of them. And you can operate on uh, very short or narrow areas of the 80 and 40 meters band. So for uh, 80 meters, which I'll be operating on here first, it's uh, 3.6 or 3,600 to 3,670 kilohertz. And uh, 40 meters is uh, 7,060 to 7,130 kilohertz. And um, yeah, uh, simple contest. You get points for your multiplier, the power multiplier and the distance between you and the other person, which is measured by grid square. I'm really far west, uh, and that means that it's hard for me to hear the weak stations uh, in Sweden and the eastern Norway. Sometimes it goes, but uh, many times I don't hear them and they don't hear me. I do get a lot of extra points for my distance though, but those points also go to the other party. So usually I don't do very well in this contest, but it's fun to be out there. Another special thing here in this contest is that it's a Swedish contest and the Swedish ones they have their own phonetic alphabet which just sounds uh, weird if you're not used to it. For example instead of x-ray they say Xerxes. Uh, so it takes a lot of training especially on weak power stations to or low power stations to actually hear them and understand them. But that's part of the challenge and most of them at least uh, respond when you use uh, NATO phonetic towards them. QR set var Lima Charlie 5 Lima. And that didn't work very well. The antenna is reading uh, full SWR or just a total short on 80 meters. That is not fun. I 
I think I have a break in the wire somewhere. It's um, only tuning up very far down in the um, 80 meters band. Uh, so I'm gonna try tuning up the 40 meter part to 80. Uh, sometimes that works. Uh, if not, just go with the 20. I know that works and uh, uh, just do parks on the air and for fun. Without 80 meters, there's very little point to being in this contest and uh, the other backup antenna I have is for 20 meters. So um, yeah, i uh, just gonna turn this into a nice radio day instead and uh, just enjoy some parks on the air and uh, flora fauna. There seems to be an insane amount of uh, lighthouse activity at the moment. Uh, International Lighthouse uh, and Light Boat Week. Uh, but I think I'm gonna just try, try to find a simple um, spot and operate. There is a lighthouse straight behind me here, by the way, but it's um, uh, too far out of range to be a valid activation, and I don't have a boat. Lima Bravo 4, Foxtrot Hotel. Roger, Roger, you're 5 uh, by 5, 5 uh, by 5, over. CQ Flora Fauna, CQ Parks on the Air, Lima Bravo 4, Foxtrot Hotel. CQ Flora Fauna, CQ Parks on the Air, Lima Bravo 4, Foxtrot Hotel. Oscar Zulu 1, November Kilo Sierra, 5 or 9, Jakob. Delta Foxtrot 2, uh, Zwei, Quebec Zulu, du bist 509. Oscar Hotel 1, Mike, Mike, good morning, you are 5 by 7. Roger, good morning, 5 by 5, 55, thank you, hi, hi. Kitos, uh, 7344. Papa Delta 3, Radio Lima, 5 by 9. Uh, portable station again, please. The portable station, go ahead. Delta Lima 7, United Whiskey Radio Stroke uh, Portable. Uh, radio 5 by 5, over. Sierra Papa 7, Mike Whiskey, 5 by 9, Marek. Thank you for 5 by 5, uh, 7 3, QRZ. Delta Juliet 1, Sierra Delta 5 uh, 7. Oscar November 4, Oscar November, hello Danny, you are 5 by 8. Okay, vielen Dank für 5 und 7, Danny, 73. SM6 CN. SM6, David Helge Urban, dette er Ludvig Bertil 4, Philip Henrik, du er 5 og 8. Foxtrot 4, Gulf Yankee Hotel, hello, 5 by 8. Kilowatt, Delta 1, Charlie Tango, good morning, 5 by 5.
QSL, QSL, I got two references. That was 0480 and 1846. I'm operating from Lima Alpha 2526. QSL? Lima, Charlie, Fem, Lima, slash Portabel. Lima, Charlie, Five, Lima. Lima, Charlie, Five, Lima, slash Portabel. Well, the, and that was actually accurate so on the portable test the reason I went here and um, that's nice I've been running for well over an hour just doing flora fauna and parks on there and for some reason the lighthouse test died down on 40 uh, so now there was room to listen to that and that was a 0 0.9 watt both directions to Sweden on SSB I'll show you on the map how far that actually is but that is epic uh, so that was uh, Sierra Mike 5, Sierra November Uniform Portable, uh, which is, sounds really different in Swedish, but still, uh, I got it. So, uh, at least one QSO for the luck. As you can see, that didn't go as planned. I was hoping to do a contest today. I got one QSO, one single QSO in the log for the contest. I'll sending, I'm sending that in just so that other guy gets some points. Uh, other than that, I got uh, 42 QSOs for Flora Fauna and Parks on Air. Quite a few park to parks uh, in both programs. Lots of activity today. But most of the bands, at least 40 meters, was chock full of uh, lighthouse people. So I ran a few of them. And I think I actually got one or two new prefixes there. So that's, uh, that's always fun. And uh, anyways, anyways, this has been a beautiful day here on the beach. So lovely to just sit here with the radio. It's around 20 degrees Celsius and uh, listen to the waves and talk to people all over the world. Thank you very much to everybody who hunted today and if you did like it please leave a comment below, uh, leave a like, uh, leave uh, a subscription if you want to see more of it. Thank you very much, Sentry.